Hello everyone this is Amar in this video we will see how to calculate the weight of helical spring we are provided with the spring specification which you can see on to the screen what they are so here we have wire diameter 4 mm that is small d is the wire diameter of the spring mean coil diameter is 32 mm that is capital D so mean coil diameter is nothing but the average of inner diameter and outer diameter free length is given 60 mm that is the free length of the spring that is 60 mm total coils means coils of this spring is given that is total 10 nodes so let's say total coil is nothing but capital N so we have to calculate the spring weight in grams provided the density of steel to be 7.850 gram per cc so we have the formula to calculate weight that is volume into density so I can write volume as area into length so area is nothing but the cross sectional area for the spring so area will become here so cross sectional area if we take the cross section of a spring which will appear like this so we have to take this cross sectional area so that is nothing but the area of a circle that is pi by 4 d square so d is nothing but wire diameter over here so we'll put the values we have the value for pi to be 3.14 divided by 4 into wire diameter square so here the density is given in centimeters so we'll take the wire diameter in centimeter so 4 mm will become 0.4 centimeter square on solving this we'll get the cross sectional area which will be 0.12556 centimeter square is the cross sectional area in this case okay 0.1256 we'll get on solving this so we calculated the cross sectional area now we have to calculate the length of a spring so here length of a spring is not the free length of a spring so here we have to calculate the total length of each coil so coil is basically spirally wounded so you can see here so this complete one complete coil so this is one complete turn of a coil so this one complete turn of a coil is nothing but 360 degree rotation of a coil. So this is complete 360 degree rotation of one coil. So one complete rotation of a coil is nothing but it is a circular in, circular in shape. So we have to take the circumference of a circle over here. So circumference of a circle is nothing but 2 pi r okay so pi 2r can be written as d d is nothing but the mean coil diameter so length of one coil is nothing but the length of circumference of a circle which is nothing but pi d but here we have total n turns so we will multiply it with n so this will give you total length of a coil so pi d n is the formula to calculate the total length of a coils so pi can be taken as 3.14 the value of pi capital D is nothing but the mean coil dia that is 32 mm so 32 mm can be written as 3.2 centimeter in centimeter it will become 3.2 into n we have total coils 10 so if we solve this we get the length of total coil that is to be coming 100.48 is the length of total coil 100.48 centimeter now we have calculated the area that is 0 0.1256 we have calculated the length we will keep in this value we will multiply area with length to get the volume so which will be 12. 62 if we multiply we will get 12.62 centimeter cube that is the 
volume of this spring so we have weight formula that is volume into density we have volume that is 12.62 and the density is given 7.850 gram per cc so if we solve this 12.62 into 7.850 we will get the weight of a spring which is coming as 99.0.06 grams so 99.06 gram is the weight of this spring so hope you find this video useful thank you for watching